Hey everybody, Dodger here. Welcome back to the Minecraft server on this stormy, stormy Tuesday. Alright, well, Minecraft's not complying, but it's stormy in real life. I'm listening to the rain smack against the ceiling and the thunder in the distance. But I'm actually very happy about it because it's nice and cool up in the office today. Very, very nice. Thank you, Florida. Thank you, Florida. I, I say that now. Watch the power go out in any moment. But hello everybody, welcome back, and welcome back to the mobile home. We're going to continue work today. Uh, main things I want to do today, how about some skirting? I think the skirting is going to be a, a key factor in, in making this place look like what it's supposed to look like. Uh, also, I want to do something with, well, those could be considered the eaves? I guess, this is the soffit. So that's the eave? Sort of. Sort of. Either way. Either way. Wait a minute. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> I looked down at OBS and I didn't see any any noises happening on the, the voice meters. But everything's fine. Everything is fine. Are you fine? Are you having a good day? I hope so. My day has been uh, eventful for a Coon Dodger style day. <laughs> which really doesn't mean that much. It was eventful only because I went and got myself... This is... I don't know... I don't know how to make these anymore. How, how do I make these? Went ahead and got myself my hair cut. Ah, it's this. And, uh, that's always a fun experience. Not really. Hello, Thunder. Calm down. Calm down. I have a noise gate set on OBS, uh, so hopefully that stuff doesn't get picked up. I noticed... What did I notice the other day? What was I recording? Was it Minecraft or was it F1? One of the two, I was I was commenting on the noises in the background, but then as I was watching back the video, they they were not heard. <laughs> you you all just thought I was crazy. And I am. Um Wow, train of thought gone. Just it's just obliterated at this point. Absolutely obliterated. Let's let's look at some skirting then. Let's look at some skirting. So one option that I want to look at is these guys. That ain't right. <laughs> Trap doors, because I think they will look very, I think they will look very lattice -y, and lattice is pretty common. Uh, I just want to make sure it doesn't look structural. You know, I don't want it to look, I don't want it to look like that's holding the building up. Oh, that's, oh, it's going to be a total pain in the butt to do it this way. And in fact, I guess it would be a problem because I couldn't do the corner. I would have to do the corner like this, and it would stick down on the side. That's kind of gross. That's kind of gross. What if I did it sticking out everywhere? It would be easier to lay down that way. Uh, then I couldn't do the porch. The porch would have to be something different. All right, well, let me, let me do this on a couple sides here and see. What does that look like? What do you look like? Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And from the bottom, I think you can still tell. I think you can still tell that there's uh, support cinder blocks under there. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. I'll have to do a little bit of landscaping. Not super pleased with the corners, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, I do want to look at some other things before I, I go ahead and make that uh, a reality. Apparently, in a future update, the, uh, the trap doors are going to be able to be colored like doors. So every style of log or plank you use will have its own, I think. I think that was my understanding. I think Brian was saying something about that. Iron, here. Yeah. Let me make a couple iron bars. Now, this, this might look a little too... What do I just do? This might look a little too, um... How do I... How do I put this? A little too... Jail-y. <laughs> Iron bars always look like a prison cell, basically. Uh, let's see. You know, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, and you can definitely see the structure more. I just wish it went up to the edge instead of being inset like that because most of the skirting that I see is pretty much right up to the edge so I don't think that's the winner 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this somewhere else. I, I think I have ideas for what I can use the iron bars for. Wow, this is gonna take a minute. What was I was trying to? I started a topic and now I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I talked about getting my hair cut. Now I hate getting my hair cut, mostly because I hate the whole like um, awkwardness of it and the the sitting there desperately hoping that the person doesn't want to talk to you. Today, the the awkwardness was mostly that it's summertime and all the kids are out and about. And uh, there there was a, a group of, I guess, brothers? I guess. Or just a group of friends. I couldn't quite figure out what the deal was. Uh, but they were all in there, like, shouting from across, you know, where the little waiting area is over to where one of the kids was getting their hair cut and they were like you know taking turns uh, and they would be shouting back and forth like making fun of each other and I'm like public space my dudes learn learn some respect <laughs> there's your your old man cone lesson of the day <laughs> don't shout at your friends from across the way in a public space. It's very rude. Um, I'd eventually like to kind of get rid of the stone around here. So I guess I should just go ahead and start doing that now. Oh, I have an iron pick on me, don't I? Yeah, it's the first thing in your bar. Is that going to get rid of the door? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, well that's not a problem then. I don't need to worry about this at all. But I still am. I don't have a lot of dirt. I need to I need to really work on gathering some supplies. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see. Hello again, Thunder. Uh, I swear it's thundering if that's not making it through. I swear it is, and I'm not just crazy. I am crazy, but I'm not just crazy. Today I put up the uh, third race of the F1 season. It was an interesting one. I think it's probably too soon to be talking about uh, exactly what happened in that race, but it was certainly interesting, and I think I've found the solution there uh, to the problem one of these weeks in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming weeks. I will have to do a three race week, which shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be too bad at all. Uh, I think I can probably manage that. So it'd be like a, a 50, a 25, and a 50. Uh, it won't be this week, but but eventually <laughs> I'll have to do that. Uh, that's if everything goes to plan too. Who knows? Who knows if if the schedule will remain the way that it is for the foreseeable future. But that's the plan as of now. I have something like something of a a proposed project, a a proposed plan something in the works that might, in fact, take me away from the computer uh, on a daily basis for the better part of a month. And regardless of that, I will certainly be away for a few weeks in late August and early September, I believe. Not somewhere in that range, because I will be headed to PAX West with some uh, some of the patrons that are also going. I will obviously, Max West is in Seattle, so uh, looking forward to spending some time with the Seattleites, in particular uh, Kurt, and I believe Anasia, uh, Calamity Jamie is out there, um, I think of who else is, is out there that I would probably see. Uh, well, there's some community members that are out there as well, like one less cubes, who may or may not be involved in the other things of the greater scheme. Uh, but the point was, uh, there will eventually come a point when I'm going to have to work on being able to do the pre-recorded stuff, because that's something I've never done, and I don't feel like I've ever really been comfortable doing. Like, I just don't think, because of the way my brain works, or maybe because of the way it doesn't. Hold on, hold on. You can't speak while you're sleeping. It's very important not to speak while you're sleeping. Um, I just, I don't seem to 
function as well, being able to just record a series for like three hours and breaking that up into episodes. Because it always ends up seeming like a worse product for me. It just doesn't... At the end of the day, the product is not what I want, so I don't do it. Uh, but if I'm going to do, you know, big adventures or anything like that, I'm going to have to get comfortable with that at some point. This was a suggestion I saw in the comments, too, was get rid of the cinder block, the slabs, <laughs> for the porch and put in, uh, put in the cobblestone walls. Uh, I think he said mossy, but I think I like just the... Just the regular old cobblestone. That, that the words found me <laughs> eventually, and I do like that. And overall, the skirting, the skirting has helped tremendously. That looks very, very good. I am pleased. Now, what am I gonna do with the rest of it, though? I could tuck it in. Well, not quite like that. How am I gonna do that? I have to get under there. <laughs> I gotta climb under the house. Hold on. Let me make some more. Those are expensive. Those are very expensive now that I look at it. 23 is more than enough, though. Alright, we're going to dig in. I really eventually want to get rid of this diorite anyway. I will I will be landscaping the yard. Eventually. Okay. So let's put in some stone. Because I think under the house being stone works just fine. Oh, no. I'll need a way out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let me think, let me think. All right. Everything else can be that. Well, let me just see how it looks. Maybe this is all just a waste of time. So it would be here, and here. Oh, then it would go under. Oh, mm, no. That's not going to work. Well, it would have to be here and here, and then actually on the outside... Let's see. Let's see how that would shape up. Maybe it's not even noticeable that they don't line up. Didn't I say I had plenty? Of the oh, they're right there. They're hard to see in the inventory, what can I say? Oh, that works fine. That's totally fine. I don't think anybody in their right mind is going to notice that that's inset. Uh, in fact, I could probably make a slight design change to even get rid of that, but for the moment, I don't think that's a big deal at all. Oh man, that has really, really significantly helped the look of the place. Uh, I will get in there, I think, and get rid of the diorite eventually. I might replace it with all of this, which is andesite? Yeah, andesite. <laughs> that's right. Uh, because I think that looks kind of gravelly and, you know, under under a building that's that's... Killed off all the grass and stuff, but in an area that's stone, that would make sense. Oh man, that looks that looks so good. I'm so very happy with that. Alright, next big problem of the day is figuring out what to do with those. I got slabs on me. Phew. Let me see about... Okay, so... Do I have any wood slabs? I do. Excellent. So who are the ones that are unhappy? Who won't let a slab be there? Is it you? Yes. So it's the second two that would let them be there. So it would need to be like that. And then from there, full blocks would do it. So actually I need some spruce blocks, which I think I have down here. This might not be the most elegant of solutions, but it's technically a solution. Technically. Yes, cobblestone, that's what I wanted. There we go. Spruce planks. Get out of there. Let me see how that looks from the outside. Tacky or no? It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I wish... I certainly wish it was the case that I could do... Uh, uh, you know, just half slabs underneath of the... I don't fully understand why that is, why you can't mix half slabs, or if that will ever be a thing. Okay, I sat here and looked at it for a minute, and I think I'm happy enough with it. So, let me do that to the other side. And then, 
we need to go make ourselves a, a little journey, actually. Go on a little journey, not make a journey. <laughs> take a journey. Those are the words I wanted. I'm gonna take a journey down to the, um, I've done this all wrong. I've done this completely wrong, I believe. It's not you and you. It's you. Here, can I get up there? No. Yeah. And you. Yeah. Yeah, right? Because then it's three of these. Got it. All right. Need to take a journey over the farm and shear some white sheep for the next thing that I want to build or the next thing I want to complete. All right. Eaves are done. Well, they're done for now. I might, I might return to that. It looks good. It looks very good. And we'll get a chance to take a look at it from a distance here. It's looking great. I'm very happy. Uh, it's it's definitely lost a little bit of its mobile home this now, but it's a very established mobile home. Uh, I see a lot of people getting confused between mobile home and trailer, and trailer and camper. So campers are things that you travel with on the road, and, and you know you sleep in them overnight. Trailers are for me mobile homes and mobile homes are houses that are manufactured and then trailered somewhere parked there and that's where they sit that is somebody's home that is their quote-unquote permanent residence does that make sense is verbiage clearer there because <laughs> this is that uh and that that's the look i was going for okay what's the easiest way to get there probably this way Probably this way. What time of day is it? Uh, it's starting to get pretty late. I don't know if I should do that at night or not. Hmm. Hmm. Well, well, let me wait. Well, thanks to waiting for the next day, I got to see a very, very nice sunset. Which is the thing that I said I wanted to see last time, isn't it? All right, can I sleep now? All right, do I need to wait for... Oh, I can't really see the moonrise here. It's actually kind of a... Down here is a bad location for sunrises, I guess, because the mountain shields it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Somebody took a screenshot. Somebody... Oh, I, I talked while I was sleeping. Well, I didn't get a very good rest to that night, did I? Okay, let's walk. Let's go around and grab some uh, some wheat to make some bread. Since we're going on a little bit of a walk, it's really not that far. Uh, eventually I need to build a walkway and a bridge here. Such a tiny, tiny little project I'm working on, and yet there's just so many things to do. The wonders of Minecraft. And speaking of the wonders of Minecraft, that's something I want to talk about, because over the past week there has been a sudden resurgence in people going to the Minecraft subreddit and asking what happened? Where did everybody go? Why doesn't anybody play on the server anymore? Why is the earth round? Uh, you know, stuff like that. And it is weird how that stuff seems to go in cycles. So, part of that, and I do, I've always been pretty active on the Minecraft subreddit. Active in the way that I, I've always like read it and <laughs> read it. I've always monitored it, I guess. Uh, as of a couple of years ago, I don't tend to really post on there too much anymore and join in too many discussions for reasons that I don't fully understand and reasons that I think have more to do with the format of Reddit than anything to do with Mindcrack, that really became quite a, a hostile and uh, just kind of frankly unwelcoming place, especially for Mindcrack as a group, like the, the content creators of Mindcrack. Um, which is a shame. It is a shame. But like I said, I think that has a lot more to do with the format of Reddit than it does the group of Minecraft, because I, I certainly have seen much of the same in uh, surrounding communities. Um, 
but be that as it may, I do still keep up to date with it, and I, I do try to to help out when I can, as far as, I don't know, kind of helping to be, I'm, I'm trying to find the, the right words, almost like a voice of reason with things, uh, because there can be a lot of knee-jerk reaction and and responses there that I don't think really represents uh, the situation very well. Hello, chickens. You're very loud. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me pause for a second in my thoughts because this gonna be real loud. Oop, I just punched him. I just need some light wool. Hello, hi, hi, hello, you guys. You guys just don't, don't mind me. Just grabbing some light wool. Everything's fine. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hi. Alright, did I get everybody? I think I got everybody. And she... Okay, how much did I get? Oh, I got more than a staff. That's plenty. That's plenty. Yes, you're very loud. You're very loud. <laughs> what a place. What a place. Whew. That was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same situation I get whenever I go in public and there's a lot of people. It's just exhausting. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, like I said, there's been a resurgence in the the people kind of wanting to know what happened and where everybody is and whatnot. And uh, uh, Zisto actually posted some some interesting thoughts on there, and, and quite a few people did. There was there was quite a few good actually well thought out responses to uh you know kind of the the downfall of of minecraft from the public's attention affected what minecraft was and you know that the minecraft server was no longer the hub and i discussed a lot of that stuff early on and i do hope people that maybe join later on into the series go back and watch that one because I think that's one of the best constructed thought processes I have ever had <laughs> I'm really happy with uh, the way I managed to portray what I was trying to say there because that's not usually my strong point or strong suit. so yeah maybe go back and review that if if you didn't um, but a lot of it, I think, it boils down to business in many ways, but the business side of it also coincides, okay, it coincides with the actual timing. Like, sure, yes, YouTube absolutely screwed over the gaming community. They, they essentially took the pruding shears to an entire audience and uh and creator network that for sure happened in my opinion but that also happened on the same time frame that i think minecraft started to uh, just wear on people and, and the, the spark was gone for many uh so I think the fact that those two happened at very similar times ends up, uh, it, it just makes it all seem a lot more dramatic than uh, it would have been if, if one or the other had happened at once. So, so yeah, that, that, that's kind of where I wanted to go with it was, don't, don't just pin it on, on business. And don't just pin it on Minecraft, you know, not being cool anymore and stuff like that. It's just kind of a factor of of all the things happening at once there uh, that that led to the situation as it is. And there's no need for animosity or I think even like uh, uh, any drama at all about it. It's just how it is. It doesn't mean that uh, you can't still enjoy Minecraft. It doesn't mean you can't enjoy Minecraft Let's Plays. 
It doesn't even mean that you can't start. If you're out there thinking, boy, I wish I had done Minecraft Let's Plays when it was cool. I think now is a great time to start because you can do it on your own terms. And I, this is kind of echoing what I was talking about in an earlier video. Uh, oh no, I'm short. Cramp. Um, you can, yeah, you can just do exactly what you want to do with it. Make it the product you want, make it the hobby that you want it to be, or whatever. Cough attack, sorry. Uh, the the time is no longer there. If you want to just get into it to grow and and be YouTube star, like so, 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 so many tried to do, uh, that's, that's over with. You, you can't do that anymore. I will admit that much. That's only two pieces. Uh, so that that's a reality. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry if that's what you wanted out of it. Uh, but if all you wanted out of it was honestly just the the creation point and uh, the making of videos and you know sharing your own perspective on either you know like I do in kind of a, a talky format or just how you play Minecraft, whatever you want to do, you can still do that. The the, the time is now. <laughs> You'll never. You'll never be as popular as Stampy. No, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. But you can still have fun with it. And in many ways, after reading through a lot of the responses, and especially Zisto's response, this is gonna sound weird, and there's been a big build up to this. I actually feel very lucky that I got into doing this stuff when I did, even though it absolutely sabotaged my quote-unquote career, since it was too late, you know, I didn't ride any of the wave, I, you know, I had to wade through my own ripples, That that's certainly the case, but I got to do things in a way that I wanted to do them, and I never felt the need or the pressure to chase the numbers or chase the fads or uh, look at what's profitable and what's not. Yeah, I'm just really happy that despite the the fact that it was too late and the, the time had passed, I've still managed to be able to do this and I've still managed to be able to enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, I just just through reading... Did I leave some more? No, that's that cheap. Just through reading through those comments, it, it honestly made me feel a little, get, a little bit good inside, which was weird. That's not what I was expecting out of that. Um, I'm not like hashtag Lewis Hamilton blessed about it, but I'm happy. I'm content with it. I get to keep doing this at, you know, at the scale that is comfortable for me. And in many ways, I think a lot of the Minecrafters have found that level of comfort too. Like, they're doing now what they love doing. Not because it's what, oh, one short. Oh, no, I have the one. Excellent. Okay, great. Uh, not because it's what YouTube says to do or Twitch says to do or whatever. They're just doing what they like to do and building the community that enjoys them for who they are and what they want to do. Uh, the old school minded people are always going to be there in the background bickering about, hey, why don't you still do Minecraft? Uh, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> just it just absolutely doesn't matter. Ah, what a random collection of words that was. And with that random collection of words, thank you for watching today. I'll be back tomorrow. Decent little bit of progress today. And uh, I managed to spit some words out. A little bit late. This will be a late episode, I guess, because my day gets started a little bit late. Thanks to, uh, thanks to the trimming of the hairs. <laughs> It's all it takes to, to shake my foundation. Going to get a haircut. Alright, bye everybody. I'm rambling. Bye. Bye. Bye.